Good day class. So today I will discuss to you the content of your module 1B from our division of Mandaluyong. So thank you for our developers. So in here our topic is evaluating function. So in evaluating function, the only thing that you will remember or put in mind is that you need to replace the values of x if ever there are variables in it with a certain number okay let us take first our review here so in here you have uh, the process applying the pemdas so for example we have two okay number one so we have two times 15 plus 3 minus 10 as you can see here there's a process of parentheses so what are we going to do is is to follow the PEMDAS rules, okay? So as you can see in your module, so we have two times uh, uh, addition or subtraction, whichever comes first. So 15 plus 3 that is equal to 18 minus 10. Okay, so 2 times 18 minus 10 that is 8. So 2 times 8 is equal to 16. Okay, so this is the answer for number 1. And uh, for our number 2, 3, and 4, it was already discussed there in the module. Okay. Um, let's proceed to this one. Key concepts. Okay. So, to evaluate, what are you going to do? Just replace so or substitute its variable to a given number or expression. So, the process is just to replace the variable okay so let us say we have here our number one so evaluate the following so we have number one we have f of x is equal to 3x plus 1 at x is equal to 2 so what's the meaning of this we just need to replace this x right here with with 2 okay sorry so we have f times or f of 2 instead of x we replace it by 2 is equal to 3 times 2 plus 1 so f of 2 now is now equal to 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 so f of 2 is now equal to 7 so that is our answer okay what about in number in number 2 what happened here okay in here there is a presence of a radical so for example, number 2, uh, h of, uh, let's say we have another example. Let's say we have uh, h of uh, 7 or 8, h of 8. So, for example, we have is equal to square root of x plus 1. Okay, so I use another example here, right? So, h of 8 is now equal to, instead of x, we replace it by 8, so plus 1. So, what's next? H of 8 is now equal to square root of 8 plus 1 is 9. Right? So, what is the square root of 9? The square root of 9 now will be H of 8 now will be equal to positive or negative 3. So, this is now our final answer. H of 8 is equal to positive or negative 3. Okay? Let's move on to our let's practice here. So, in our let's uh, practice, what are you going to do? So, in here class, I've modified the let's practice in your uh, assignment. So, what happened in your assignment is that in your module, there is no zero right here. Okay? But in your quiz, I will be uh, putting zero here so that we will have a definite answer. We, I, I put 1 and then uh, you replace variables in, in f of x equal to square root of x plus 0 with 4. In g of x, replace the variable with negative 3. And in h of x, replace the value, variable e with negative 1. Alright? So, what are you going to do here? place uh, integers between so in here class what we're going to do is just to replace these variables ok 
okay, these variables with this one given. So, for example, class, for example, f of x is equal to square root of, um, let's say, square root of x plus 2. And I will let you uh, evaluate it at f of, um, let's say, um, 14, right? So, what will be your answer? Or what will you put here in the box right so what are we going to do replace x with 14 so f of 14 that is equal to square root of 14 plus 2 so f of 14 now is now equal to square root of 14 plus 2 is 16 okay so f of 14 is now equal to positive or negative 4 so what are we going to replace it in here you will replace you will put in the box what will you put in the box so f of 14 is now equal to positive or negative 4 this number now will be your answer in the quiz that i gave you okay let's go to let's connect so in let's connect what are you going to do in here complete the quotes below all the world all the world is made of faith and trust and blank so what are you going to do to 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 put to um to complete the sentence or the code so you evaluate f of x equal to x plus 2 squared at x is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 write the letter instead of a number inside the box so what's the meaning of that so for example if you evaluate this one okay and uh, uh, if you evaluate this one with zero right so for example that is um zero okay i will give the first one as uh, your example Huh? so in here you will say that okay uh, let me erase first uh, my writings here All right so in here class in here so, for example, f of x is equal to, let's say, uh, x plus 3 uh, squared, right? So, evaluate it at x is equal to 0. What are you going to do? So, plus, this is just my example, ah, because in this one, I cannot put this one as our example since this will be your sit work, okay? So, we have f of 0 is now equal to, instead of x, you replace it with 0. So, we have 0 plus 3 squared. So, f of 0 now, f of 0, f of 0 is now equal to 0 plus 3 is 3 squared, that is 9. So, in the case that, uh, uh, in here, you can see the possible answer here, okay? So, if there is 9, let us say the number 9 here is letter E, okay? So, you put in here F of 0 with the letter, put it in here. For example, you, you get 9, okay? So, you have letter E. So, check out your F of 0, you put letter E, okay? So, again, this is just my example, the equation that or the function that I've used is not the same on your seat work. Okay? Next, let's go to the challenge part. Right? So, for the challenge part, 